six in the morning, over 4,300 meters above sea level. Four Audi e-tron prototypes on test drive at Pikes Peak in Colorado, USA. Pikes Peak is a special place for Audi. In 1987, Walter Roll won the legendary hill climb with the Audi Sport Quattro S1 right here. S1 won. And today, 31 years later, we're here with our Audi e-tron prototype. This time not to set the record of driving uphill, but to drive downhill and prove the efficiency of the e-tron prototype with the innovative recuperation system. For the first time, 32 journalists from all over the world will have the opportunity to experience the recuperation system of the Audi e-tron at Pikes Peak. It goes downhill at a stretch of over 30 kilometers with a decline of 7% in average. We're driving 20 miles now, and when you see how much energy is entering the battery right now, that's quite remarkable. With a maximum output of 220 kilowatts, the e-tron prototype can recharge its battery. That's 70% of its drive power. Overall, it provides up to 30% more range through energy recovery. The heart of the system is the so-called integrated brake control system. With the integrated brake control system, we can decide in our control unit, depending on the driving situation, to either decelerate with the wheel brake or recuperate with the e-motor. We can bring back the kinetic energy as electrical energy into the battery and ensure a longer range. Positive side effect, the brakes are hardly put under pressure during recuperation and do not overheat. But that can certainly happen at Pikes Peak. Therefore, there's a mandatory brake check to control the temperature of the brake discs. All right, you guys are 48 degrees. The, the ground right now is 45 degrees Fahrenheit and the warmest brake temperature down so far is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very impressive. Most cars don't get below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Unglaublich, 807 meter runter. Unbelievable, 800 meters downhill. We braked so many times and the brake disc is 11 degrees Celsius. You can touch it. It all went through the electric motor. This is wonderful, this feeling that the energy is not merely turned into heat and gone to waste, but is available for reach. How efficient the recuperation system of the Audi e-tron prototype really is can be seen at the end of the test drive. 10 kilowatts, 10 kilowatts recuperated, 1,940 altitude meters and 29 kilometers driving distance. For every kilometer we drive downhill, we get approximately an extra kilometer of range, and that's even exceeded our expectations. 31 years after Walter Roll's record drive, Audi is once again on a record-breaking scale at Pikes Peak.